Now to a K2 crime alert and the third flash rob theft in a month in Portland. This time, a store clerk finds a way to fend off about 20 teenagers all by himself. This happened last night at the Max Mart and Deli. That's on 122nd Avenue in East Burnside. And it's where K2's Emily Sinovic joins us live. Emily, police say fights broke out in this? Yeah, it got to be pretty violent. Uh, he was facing, again, about 20 teens all alone here at the store. But he did have a, br a bruised eye. He was a little beat up, a little swollen eye. But he used a secret weapon to get those teens to finally leave. Store cameras captured every minute from the almost empty store at about 10.50 p.m. And then the seconds that followed. They start filing in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, a couple young women then. And then from another angle, you see them as well. At least 17 come into the store within just 30 seconds there. And then they started, this guy right here. Store manager Prakash Tapa watched and rewatched every yeah. frame. They, they trashed the whole store. As they started pocketing food and walking out with beers, he says his store clerk tried to stop them. And that is when the teens, he says, started throwing jars of food, hitting the clerk. They said there were 25 versus two, one, one clerk. 25 versus one. Yeah, maybe more than 25. You could see the crowd coming in, you know, and it's scattering all over the store, you know. At this point, police are on their way, but the clerk pulled out what his I mean, manager gave him to I defend use. himself. So I gave him this. this. I gave him this one. one. Okay. So, it's I mean. Bear spray. That's a bear spray, yeah. This is the thing that saved him from getting beat up, you know. Just outside the door, off camera, the clerk sprays that can of bear spray, hitting several teens. I think he got them pretty good. <laughs> That's what he says. The clerk wasn't seriously hurt, but Prakash said there's at least $400 in damages, and he worries if police don't catch these teens, they might be back, and next time, it could be worse. I don't want to die minimum, making minimum wage, you know. <laughs> So a woman in her 30s initially said the teens had been chasing her. She came into the store and asked the clerk to call 911. Now, police do not have an ID on her or any of the teens you saw in that video. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Emily Sinovic, K2 News. Let's hope somebody recognizes some of those teens. Thanks, Emily.